You are in the basic computer skills for programmers section at opening school and in this current series we are discussing concepts related to the windows command prompt. This is the fourth tutorial in this series and in this tutorial I will help you understand how to change the properties of the window command prompt. By properties we mean the color of the background which normally you see as black you can change that color to something else. The font color which you see normally as white you can change it to some other color which might suit you. You might want to you know change the size of the command prompt so that every time you open the command prompt window uh, you, you see the same size of that window every time. Uh, you might want to position the command prompt at some uh, you know at some um, end of the screen so that whenever you open the command prompt it shows up at that same location every time. So there are many things that you might want to do with the command prompt window if and when you start using the command prompt window window very frequently. So let me show you how to change the basic properties of the command prompt window. Let, let me open the command prompt window. Now if you click at the top left section, if you click at if you click at this the black icon for the window command prompt, if you click at, at this the black icon, you notice uh, from the drop down from the context menu the last option is properties. So click on this properties option and you will notice that there are uh, four tabs in the window that opens up. The first is the options tab then the font then layout and then colors. So from the options tab you have an option to change some of the properties. You can make the cursor small, medium, large. You can, uh, uh, you can change the command history, how many commands you want the command prompt to remember. In the next uh, videos, I'll help you understand what this means. So when you type multiple commands on the command prompt window, uh, the command prompt window actually remembers those commands. So you don't have to type those commands every time. You can simply use the navigation, uh, the cursor navigation top and down keys to see the commands which you have just executed. Uh, on the uh, command prompt window which is open. So these kind of things you can actually change from, uh, these kind of settings you can actually change from the options tab. From the fonts tab you can change the size of the font or uh, the family, the font family which you might want to use. So if I want to make the font very big I can select the 36 font and click OK. You see the, uh, the font size has changed. So I normally keep the font size to be 22. Let me change it back to 22. Now from the layout tab you can change the width of the uh, uh, this window size or you can actually position the window at some particular location uh, on, the, on the screen or you can simply click this option and let the system position the window wherever it seems fit to show that window. So you can change these settings from the layout tab. And from the colors tab you can actually change the color of the background or the color of the font uh, if you want to uh, use it in some other colors. So from uh, the, the command prompt which I am using it is actually having a white uh, background and this uh, brownish kind of the font uh, color. So all these properties can be changed by uh, opening this properties window from the command prompt. Now let me close this window and show it to you again how to open this window. So click on this. Uh, small command prompt icon at the top left of the, uh, the command prompt window and then click properties and you will see this uh, properties window will show up and you can change the command prompt properties from this window. So with this we will end this tutorial here. In the next tutorials we will actually start with uh, using the navigation uh, command so that you can learn how to go inside or come outside uh, the directories or the folders uh, by you know using the commands from the command prompt. So I will see you in the next video.